हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू योर न्यू क्लास क्लास फाइव एज वी नो वी कैन नॉट परस्यू आर रेगुलर स्कूल क्लासेस ड्यू टू द लॉकडाउन फॉर कोविड नाइन्टीन सो स्कूल अथॉरिटी हैज डिसाइडेड टू स्टार्ट ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आर फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन साइंस दैट इज प्लांट रिप्रोडक्शन लाइक वेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट plant reproduction first let's discuss about some plants uh we can see plants everywhere and most of the plants bears flowers so those plants which bears flowers are known as flowering plants now next the flowers develops into fruits that is we get fruits from the flowers as you can see in this picture as you can see in this picture the bitter gourd uh, the uh, a bitter gourd flower forms a bitter gourd orange uh, develops from an orange flower and papaya develops from a papaya flower now most fruits the uh, fruits have seeds inside them so when we see uh we can see many fruits having uh many seeds many seeds as in case of watermelon watermelon and papaya here we will find this fruits consist of many seeds again there are some fruits which consist of few seeds like apple and again mango it consist of only one seeds now when we are discussing about seeds so if you see a seed so let's take an example of a gram seed so here i have drawn a gram seed so the outermost covering of the seed that is when you soak some seeds and you peel it off there uh, the outermost shell which comes out is called the seed coat so the main function of the seed coat is that it protects or it uh, pro uh, it protects and covers the seed uh, seed now next when we are talking about seeds so basically seeds are of two types monocot and the other is dicot monocot also is known as cotyledon monocotyledon and dicot is known as dicotyledon now when we are talking about monocot or monocotyledons that is the pla uh, the plants which bears seeds uh, which has one cotyledon are called monocotyledon plants or monocot for example wheat Uh, maize then paddy all these are examples of monocot plants right then in case of dicot the plants which produce seeds with two cotyledons are known as dicotyledonous plants or dicot for example pea gram etc now you will be asking me that what is cotyledon so as i have said the seed consist of a outer covering called seed coat so when you peel the seed coat we will find suppose i am peeling of the seed coat of the uh, gram seed after peeling it i'll find two leaf like structures inside this leaf like structures are known as cotyledon cotyledons now <coughs> when we have uh, we have got the there are seeds are of two types that is monocot and dicot now uh, how can we identify or how can we distinguish that we uh, rather identify whether a plant is a monocot plant or a dicot plant simply first if we see the seed
seeds we will get that monocot will have one cotyledon and in dicot there will be two cotyledons. Again if we see the leaves of the monocot plant you will see that leaf shows parallel venation. Venation whereas in case of Dicot plants, the leaves will show network venation, or we can even say is that uh, call it as reticulate venation. Again, if we see the roots in monocot plants. So in monocot plants, uh, we'll show the fibrous root system. Whereas in dicot plants, we will have the tap root system. Again, if, uh, if we see the petals of the flowers, in monocot we will find the petals are usually three or multiples of three, whereas in dicot the petals are four or five there will be four or five petals so based on this three things that is by observing the leaf the root and the petals we can identify whether a plant is a monocot plant or a dicot plant after peeling the seeds in taking the example of the gram seed so when we peel the seeds i told you we will get two cotyledons so if you observe the cotyledons carefully, you will see a tiny leaf-like structure at one end of the cotyledon. This leaf-like structure is known as embryo. So as you can see in the book, so this is the structure of a bean seed. These are the two cotyledons and here you can see the embryo. So, <clears throat> this embryo is actually the baby plant. So, when the seed germinates, it is the baby plant, it is the baby plant which comes from this embryo or you can say this embryo grows into a new plant. What is germination? Germination is the process by which a seed grows into a new plant. That is, when we sow some seeds, you will see, uh, after sowing some seeds into the soil, after few days, new plant comes out. This entire process is termed as germination. <clears throat> and the baby plant that grows from, uh, due to the process of germination, or the baby plant which grows from the seed, is known as seedling. The baby plant that grows from the seed is known as seedling. So here in the book you can see these are the stages of germination. Here one seed is there. From there the rooting is uh, the roots are developed and then the plant which the baby plant which is growing from it this plant is known as seedling so there are few factors that a plants need to germinate what are the factors first factor is 
water. So, a seed needs water to germinate. So, you have seen, uh, observed that when you sow some seeds into water, small, small white tiny, tiny uh, part comes out from the tip of the root. That is, uh, sorry, tip of the seed. That is the root. So, when you are soaking some seeds into water, the germination process starts. So, again, uh, when uh, like the seeds, if you have sown it into the soil and if you don't water it or you, you don't water the seeds regularly, then it will not develop into a new plant. So, the first factor which is necessary for germination is water. The next is warmth. So, like if you soak some seeds and you keep it in the refrigerator, you will see that the seeds will not germinate or the roots will not come out from the seeds. So, it is uh, the, like the seeds need the warmth of the sun or, the, or rather you can say the seeds need the sunlight in order to germinate. The third point is air or the third factor is air now <clears throat> if you keep some seeds soaked in water for many days though germination may start but it will not grow into a healthy plant so or, or if you cover the seeds with totally with water you uh, rather if you Soak the seeds and you cover the seeds with water, it will not germinate because the seeds need air. And again, when we are sowing the seeds into the soil, the soil also contains air. So, these are the three factors that is water, warmth and air which are necessary for the germination of the seeds. So, here... You can see all the factors are given. So first factor is water, then warmth and air. So all these three factors are necessary for the seeds to germinate into a healthy plant. Now, it is that does all seeds germinate? No. All seeds do not, does not germinate into a new plant. Because uh, some seeds may be eaten by birds, animals. Again, some seeds may fall on some hard surface where it cannot develop its roots. Or, uh, so, it is seen that or, or uh, again some seeds may fall into some, sub, uh, uh, may be submerged into water. So, if any of the three factor is missing, the seed will not germinate. So, all seeds do not germinate into a plant. So, next, uh, after germination, before moving on to the process of germination, I want to discuss about seedling. So, what is a seedling? As I have told you earlier, the baby plant that comes out from the seed is called a seedling. So, when a seed gets all the favorable conditions, like all the three conditions or the, all the three factors that we have discussed earlier, that is air, warmth and water, then it will germinate into a seedling. Now, when a uh, seedling or when a seed gets all these factors, the first things it begins, uh, the first process that begins is suppose in case of a gram seed only, what will happen? The seed coat will split. The seed coat will split and the embryo inside, the seed will begin to grow. And then from the embryo, what will come out is your 
रेडिकल रेडिकल फर्स्ट द रेडिकल विल कम आउट दिस रेडिकल विल फादर फॉर्म द रूट सिस्टम The radical will further form the root system. Then, after the radical <coughs> comes out, then after that, another structure will be growing upward, which will, which is known as plumule. And this plumule will form the shoot system. That is. it will bear leaves fruits flowers branches so <clears throat> as you can see here the picture of a seed is given and the radical is shown coming out from the seed so the first part which comes out from the seed is the radical and then the plumule so the radical develops into the root system it forms the root of the plant and the plumule forms the shoot system that is it forms the shoot of the plant now <coughs> as the uh, uh, now this process this is the actual the process of germination so i'll show you here in the picture see the process of germ the stages of germination has been given here here in this seed the first the radical has come out after that the seed coat you can see the seed coat has been removed it falls then this two cotyledons are exposed and they uh, uh, grow into the plumule and this plumule further develops into a new plant so the stages are when the seed germinates the root grows downward in the soil then the second stage is the shoot grows upward towards the light and the third stage is the root that gets bigger and the new leaves grow on the shoot so these are the three stages of germination and as we know the seed needs water warmth air sunlight and also fertile soil to grow into a healthy plant so what are the factors uh, which uh, the seed needs are water air warmth sunlight and fertile soil so that it will grow into a healthy plant in absence of all the substances or if it does not get any of the uh, any one of this factor the seed will not germinate or it will die so with this we'll come to the end of this today's session so for your assignment so your assignment questions will be so i hope after going through the video and the pictures which has been provided there you will be able to answer this three questions first is distinguish between a monocot and dicot plant then second is what is germination explain the process of germination then what are the factors needed for a seed to grow into a healthy plant so with this we'll conclude the session for today again next we will take up with another topic thank you